and Foley will bring the ball back in for the Swans. There he goes long down the line. A pack of players developed. There's a free kick. So another opportunity for Griffith to press forward again. Long ball up. He's looking for Dells out the back. Will be Lewington for the Dogs. He can't pick the ball up. Must still be a bit of dew out there, Hammer. Hurry, ball goes inside 50, trapped nicely by McRae. Where's the hit and gives the hand pass off? And they can go back the other way. Stapleton, he goes wide to Reese Leary. He'll lower his eyes. Falls short of Ashcroft, who put his head of the football. Good tackle by Kanile. Brings him to ground. Umpire circles said it was okay. Rosengren gets on top of Leary. They all dive in now. The umpire surely will cross his arms and say, Give it to me, we'll get a ball up. Half forward flank for the Swans. By the Swans. It looked, uh, it looked dangerous there for a time, and even more so dangerous to kick out. Didn't do Rouston any favours, but they do eventually clean it up, and Foley can exit out of the 50. Here's Rug. He's kicked too hot for Page. Lewington picks it up for the Dogs on the wing. Stapleton concedes some ground. Here's McRae. He's got Fellows, finds him. Now Wiedemann. They can go back inside forward 50 again. Lead of Ashcroft in front. Couldn't trap it this time. McCormick there and allows the ball to go to bounds. We've got to throw in half forward flank for the Turvey Park Dogs. And the tackle. Frado goes in again. The Dogs once more go forward. Ball gets close to the line. Ashcroft puts his body on it. Well played, though, by the D Griffith defence. The kick out, though, is going to come back with interest as the good marks taken by Fellows. Initially, wanted to square it. Elects to go long and strong. The fly from behind will come from Ashcroft, who's waiting down at ground level. It is all Swans. Rouston fumbling at his feet, but has time to collect. Tries to organise the troops and does well to Carlin Spence. Jenkins did really well for the Dogs. Gets the ball inside 50. Back with a flight. Fellows! Good mark. It was good pressure there from the Swans defence. We'll get a throw in deep inside Dogs forward 50. They lead by five points, but they have had the majority of the play inside their forward half. Wiedemann and Richards to do battle. It's a shallow throw in. In front, Wiedemann. Couldn't trap it. Wallet trying to burst through a tackle. Umpire says play on. Jenkins did well to collect in traffic to find Smith. And he has missed a gimme, gimme goal. And it'll be a minor score. One, two, eight. Playing two behinds. Initially set the task for Ashcroft, and his kick likewise setting a task here for Mizoki. He's about to be pressured from Conlon. Conlon met him well. He dives on top of the football. Mizoki on top of him. They wrestle for it. Umpire circle says, give it to me. Far side wing ball up. Just about to tick over 17 minutes into this first term. Turvey Park, one, two, eight. Griff of Swans, just the three behinds. Ball up. Taken nicely there by Wiedemann. Tried to lower the eyes, but it was... Well chopped off. Griffith can reload. Here's Murashi. He's got the man in board at Summers. The two giants linking together. Canile off his left. It's a floating kick up towards half forward. Reading it well off deck was Delves. Snaps on goal and kicks it. And just like that, Griffith have the lead. Look more at home here at Mar Oval given that it is their home ground, but they look much better by ball, by foot and hand. Fellows, the beneficiary now of a set shot. His team lead by the margin of 11 points. His kick on goal will not score. Poor kick from a player of his calibre. And now McCormick, oh, he might get another opportunity. McCormick's kick missing Canile. And fellas will get another look. Harder on the boundary though. Margosis wants it, but he's not going to receive it here. That's two leads he's put on. So a poor first set shot initially there by Luke Fellows. Like I said, a player of his calibre doesn't make that kick twice. Shot on goal. This time is an absolute beauty. And he moves the Turvey Park Bulldogs to 4-3-27. Griffith Swans, 1-4-10. It is a 17-point margin. Nine minutes gone, second term. Finds a target. Inboard goes to the hands of Fellows. He's a chance for the Swans to mop up. Page couldn't trap it off the bounce. Eventually he does. Shrugs the tackle. They can go forward now. It's a beautiful kick to Dells. But he's going to go inside 50. 
Not much on offer. A one-on-one -on -one makes way The Spencer. He'll go in that direction now. It won't quite get there on the full. At the back, Emery for the Dogs can mop up. Spencer for company. Good pressure. Now McRae. The ball has gone out of bounds. We'll get a throw in. McRae trying to walk the tightrope. Griffith just lift, lifting here. In the so repeat stoppages inside forward 50 for Griffith. They need to make the most of these entries inside their 50. Once again, ball comes to grass. Comes away from McRae. And now Fellows. He skies a get me out of here stop. Type kick up to half back. Standing underneath it and taking a strong mark was Rouston. He goes inside 50, finds Pollock in space. And this is a player hammer who can kick a girl. He has nine on the season so far as Reese Pollock, and he's had a great start to the season, not just in the way of goals, but he's been impressive in the centre. He'll have to kick from just inside 50. He side, trailed by 22 points. He arcs to give himself more space, and in doing so, has pushed it to the right hand side. It is Turvey Park, 5 3 33. Griffith Swans, 1 6 12. 19 and a half minutes played. Up. So now the Swans can set up here. Ball laid down. Rouston tried to get the boot forward, instantly smothered. Bouncing around in the middle of the contest. Umpire circles, crosses the arms, and he says, I'll work out my arm once more. Give it another ball up. Again, Ferratu getting the ball on pain. Rouston gets a kick out of the pack. It's floating on goal, and Griffith has got another. Seven three forty five playing the Swans four six thirty. It wasn't conventional, but it gets the job done. And now we're looking at a fifteen point margin. It's going to trickle out of bound. We'll have a throw in. The intensity has well and truly lifted here. Hammer fifteen points the margin. Griffith looking likely inside their forward fifty for a change. We'll get a throw in. Twenty meters out from the Swans' goal. It'll be painted Ferrado. It favours Ferrado. He lays the ball down in front. Leading the race, that was Pollock. He wanted to turn on to his right side, but he runs out of tarmac. We'll get a throw in. Seven and a half minutes gone in this third term. 7 3 45 <laughs> plays 4 6 30. Ball brought back in the play. Ferrado laying it down. Kanile picks up. He wants that left. He skies it. It's going to go right to the hot spot. In front, Delves! <laughs> Plays on and goals! A good contested grab. It's beginning to boil over here at Mar Oval. Frustration spilling out amongst the dogs. Backman there. 7-3-45, plays Griffith 5-6-36, and now it is a nine-point margin hammer. It has been an absolute cracker thus far here at Mar Oval. One you can definitely expect from the two top teams of the Riverina Football League. Ball back in the centre circle. Richards once again claiming it out of the ruck, gets a boot to ball forward. Daniel trying to get the hand pass out. Was instantly chopped off by Emery. They dive in on top now. Umpire circles. And he'll ball it up. 24 and a half minutes gone in this third term. Turvey Park 9 3 57. Swans 8 7 55. Two points to the margin. Rouston riding the bump. Gets the hand pass out only as far as Ferrato. He likewise goes further out and finds Wiedemann. They're moving the ball with ease now. Hagger, he's chopped off by Page. They all dive in on top of Fellows. And we'll get another ball up this time at half forward for the Swans. Griffith lifting here. The intensity is back up as we draw close to the three-quarter time siren. Back flick nicely done by Richards. It might come back his way again. We've got repeat stoppages here. Plenty of numbers around this contest. You could throw a tea towel on 20 of them. 
Margos is fighting for it at ground level. Umpire crossing his arms once more. You'd think he'd be getting antsy looking for a free kick at this stage, Hammer. Kick inside, forward 50 for the Swans. Delves trying to trap it at ground level. Knocked off the football was Daniel. The umpire said it was okay. We'll get a ball up inside there, forward 50. 26 minutes gone, third term. There can't be much longer left. Can the Swans get in front? With the exiting kick out of the defensive 50, it's long to a contest. Weighing down, good paddle on there, came from Fellows. Although it's the Swans here in numbers. Spencer trying to thread the needle with the hand pass. Only found Ferrato, who gets it to Wiedemann. He goes to the centre of the ground. Plenty of players present, and one of those was Payne. He goes long, looking for Dells. He'll fly from behind, brings the ball to the ground. Weighing down, Zocchi puts his body on the line. They all dive in on top now, and the umpire will cross his arms. No one really front and centre for the Swans there. I think the ball eluded the front and centre. Came uh. off the hands. So, ball up. Tap comes down. Here's a chance for the Swans now. Spencer, he'll get the advantage. He can walk to 45. Take a shot on goal or centering kick and find a target in Page. They have turned it on in the second half of this game, have the Griffith Swans. This man has already kicked one. He has now kicked two, and he extends the margin out to nine points. I believe it was to affect the turnover. Now Woods at half bat. Transitions this ball now to Emery. He concedes some ground to try and open up the ground here. Doyle has McRae on. Lewington's out there trying to make space. He's called to go here, McRae. Found himself in a spot of bother, and in doing so, he'll turn the ball over. The Swans will come back now with interest. It eventually comes away of Daniel. He loads up, delves in a one-on-one. Good work there by Emery. Brought the ball to the ground. McRae, hand pass, nearly intercepted. They dive in on top. Umpire circles and says, I'll ball it up. About 15 metres out from the Griffith Swans goal. They lead this game by nine points. This time, Wiedemann fisting it forward. Leading in the race is Hager. Traps it nicely. Has support with Mizoki. He goes down the line. Stapleton trying to use his speed, but he gets run into the wall. Margosis. Now Fellows. Off a step. Only as far as pain for the Swans. And they are just full of confidence at the moment here, Hamish. Canal. And now the inside ball to Rouston. So much cleaner, the Swans. They're a completely different side to their first half. Called the go, Rouston. Back, pa- back pedals to Richards. He tries to go short. Good work by Josh Ashcroft. And then putting his body on the line. But unfortunately can't affect the turnover. Marashi just trying to funnel that ball forward. And the kick off the ground goes to the fronting direction of Page. He can trap it off the bounce. Snap around his body. But he runs out of tarmac. And we'll get a ball in deep inside forward 50 for the Swans. Griffith 67. Girdler goes again. The funneled kick out goes the way of the Swans. Trapping it nicely was Emery. He's got a couple to beat. Did well. Gets it back to Woods, who's instantly met by Summers. Manages to get boots of ball. The pressure is absolutely mounting. Charging through Stapleton. Gets it to Margosis. He's got a runner wide. It's Reese Leary. Ball eludes him and he falls underneath his feet. Cudmore traps it back nicely for the Swans. They can work it between themselves. Get it back to Cudmore. Had time to assess his options. Then the kick was a poor one. Goes away at Josh Ashcroft. He's on the broadcast wing. He goes long inside 50. Sees the tall option. Ferrato takes a towering grab. Turns his back on the play as if he's to signal that he's going to have a shot. You'll have to kick this ball hammer from beyond 50 metres. His team trailing now by a big margin in the context of this game. They need something special. We are right behind this kick. 
It is on its way, goes right to the line. Umpire, if you will, put the two fingers up and it's a goal. Turvey Park, 10-4, 64. Griffith Swans, 11-7, 73. 12 minutes gone, final term. They needed a big kick and there it was, Hamish. Getting to that moment where there's a little bit of a lull in the game before the great big explosion, the calm before the storm, Hamish. Ball brought back into play. Emery takes it out of the ruck, looking for a teammate, finds Margosis, funneled it out to McRae. He hurries the ball forward, and the race is on towards the boundary line. Trapping it nicely was Foley. Well caught by Jenkins. Umpire says, holding the footy. Dogs can go forward. Jenkins steps the man on the mark, did really well. Goes long and strong. Ashcroft hasn't been sighted this quarter. In front, he'll get a free kick, though. Turning his back on the plate. And he too will have a shot that will be kicked from beyond 50. He currently has four to his name. His team trail by nine points. 17 and a half minutes gone. Ashcroft from where Ferrato was. Let's rip and he has five. They must practice those at training. 11-4, 70 Turvey Park. Trim the margin back down to three. Griffith, 11-7, 73. Just ticking into 18 minutes into the final quarter. And again, ball brought to ground. Leary couldn't trap it. He goes again. Wiedemann collects for him. Ferrado puts the hands up. Gets it to Wiedemann again. They're working in tandem to Emery. He goes forward in front. Stapleton couldn't claim the mark, waiting at ground level. Conlon did well for the Swans. Pollock lays a hand pass off. This is Simpson. He lowers the ice to Rosengreen. They need to move. Inboard to Rousen. He's got men open, wide. Instead, he elects to go long down the line. Inside 50, reading it well was Doyle. He looks to exit now through Emery. And further afield to Wiedemann. They can take time off the clock here, the Dogs. Sensational game here at Murrayville, just as you called, Hammer. An instant classic for the Riverina Football League. And it is the Dogs who win this game by three points. 12-4-76, defeating Griffith 11-7-73. There had to be a winner. And justly, it is the Dogs here on their home turf staking their claim as the team to beat in the competition.